Welcome back. You know, Board & Brush Creative Studio is nestled right in the heart of Southeast Portland. They offer a variety of workshops to help improve your DIY skills. You know, I recently got the chance to check one out. Trust me, this place is really cool. Hey guys, we're down here at Board & Brush Studio. Kayla, thanks for having me down. I'm excited. I know, we're gonna make some beautiful things. I love it. What are we building? So today I'm gonna guide you through all the different steps to make a super cute holiday pour sign. Um, I always like to start off by saying you don't need to be crafty whatsoever. I'm gonna walk you through all the different steps. So you get to distress your wood, sand your wood, stain your wood, assembly, power tools, Nice. It's a whole shebang. You're gonna walk out of here with something beautiful. Um, I typically get people in here and they're like, I promise you I'm not crafty. And they're super nervous. And I'm like, <laughs> no, I promise, you're, we got your back. Um, so I would say you're gonna, you know, this is a three hour process. Um, and if you haven't done this before, you may take the entire three hours, but that's okay. We're here to have a good time. Um, nice. So when we start this process, we provide you with all the supplies, stains, rags, everything. So today we're making this cute little holiday, Merry Christmas snowman. Oh, so it's a two cool. layer. Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense right now, but it's a two layer. Okay. So today, yeah, you get to pick your stain. I'm gonna walk you through all the different stain options. We have eight options here. And then Very we have cool. our paint bar, 90 plus colors. So you get to make the decision on your colors. So cool. I always say start thinking about, you know, where you're putting your project, mm -hmm. you know, your favorite colors, what's your house look, you know, what colors yeah. your house kind of has, that kind of vibe. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dive into it. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, cool. We get to distress our wood. And nice. people are always like, what? We're distressing our wood, but it, it's pretty awesome. Especially on a Friday night when you're like, okay, I've had enough in my work week. Uh, <laughs> So we distress, you know, not only we distress ourselves, we get to distress our wood or vice versa. Nice, <laughs> I like it. Yeah, uh, so why do we distress our wood? Just to kind of give it more character, yeah. you know, it doesn't look so fresh cut mm -hmm. and it's fun. <laughs> yeah. So first we have our hammer. If you use this end of the hammer, you're gonna get a half moon indent into your wood. Yep. And then the side, that's gonna get two little claw marks into it. Yeah. And then our meat tenderizer, we always get people like, what are we doing with the meat tenderizer? <laughs> um, it's actually one of my favorites. So if you use it that way, you're yep. gonna get these little clusters of dots. Like yep. So, and then my favorite is the chicken wire. So you place that on your board, use your hammer, it has a little bit more weight behind yeah. it. Hit that all around. You're gonna get these little honeycomb clusters like that. Nice. So we do it to all of our projects. You know, it's completely random. There's no right way to do this. So we always do this for a couple minutes. So if you wanna give that all a right. shot, you can. Let's have some fun. Yes. Uh, okay, perfect. So after we distress, we do sanding. Um, okay. So with the sanding, what I usually do is take one of these guys, and for okay. you, you actually have these supports that you can use. Take oh, this nice. and just go ahead and do mostly yeah. focus on your sides and edges, make them nice and buttery just soft. Just to get them soft, you yeah. You see how you kind of have these splinters too. Yeah. Um, and then anything on the face, you don't really need to do too much on the face of it. Only yeah. if you feel something kind of rough to touch, like your knots right here, mm -hmm. because you don't really want that. So make sure you go with the grain of the wood. All so right, like cool. This. Yeah. So something to note is if you've never stained before, all wood takes stain differently depending on the way the grain is, the toughness, softness, it's a little bit harder in an area, the stain's mm -hmm. gonna appear a little bit darker. And then if you wanna get stain in those little distress marks, mm -hmm. just kinda saturate your rag a little bit more and then you can squeeze it in those just little holes. Just get it in there. Yeah. yeah. You got it. So what you'll do with those guys, okay. these are more just holding your boards together. Okay. But I always make sure they're not landing on a knot because when you go to screw them in, they won't. Yeah, you'll go fight in. that knot, right? Yeah. And this will help kind of if there's any kind yeah. of weakness to it. So we're going to use these screws. Cool. Are you comfortable with a driller? <laughs> I think so. Let me let me see. I think I can make this work. Okay, yeah. So just pop a screw in each of mm -hmm. those holes. So now that you uh, drilled in your supports, you can actually just go ahead and flip it over. Okay. Now we're working with the face. Nice. So go ahead and take one of these cloths and okay. just rub all over the face of it with some good pressure to pick up any excess oil. Okay. And then once you have that done, your next step, you can decide on if you want to add a technique to your background. So keeping in mind your first, you know, what your mm -hmm. design is going to look like. Yeah. So for the stencil, you're gonna be painting in these white areas. Okay. So 
you know, obviously snowman white, unless you want to be creative today. No, that's, color that's, snowman. that's kind of where we're going to go, okay. so I like that. And then, so kind of think about, you know, this white, what colors, and mm -hmm. the blue part is going to be the underneath background part. Okay, so that's so, the wood that's through that. that exactly. So, yeah. got it. Okay. So, um, if you don't do a technique, what you're going to be seeing is the stain color. Got it. And then your white. There you go. This kind of wintry vibe. Yeah. But a statement. Absolutely. <laughs> Pow. Okay, so your design, you have, again, you have two layers. So we're going to do one layer first, okay. paint it, have it dry, and then your second layer will go on top. That's okay. your face and all the details of the snowman. So again, you're, so we're going to separate the two like so. Okay. And you want to keep, again, keep this flat on the table. So once you have that white off, you're going to flip this white over and you're going to press in the table and press down. And I'll show you, Got if it. you're just pulling, you're going to rip and tear your stencil. You never Got want it. that blue to pop up. So that's why we kind of give it pressure give right it pressure here. pressure down there. We're almost feeling it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. part about these stencils are they are you know they're not a sticker but they do have tackiness to it yeah so you don't have to try to get your placement on first you Got know it. the first try you can actually just go ahead and put it down and now you can slide it around and to decide how you want um you know how the placement to be okay let's see that way and then red yep all okay, right so go ahead and pick your color all right <laughs> squeeze it in there that comes out quick yeah you are not kidding. You probably need that much. I'm gonna need a lot of it. So, <laughs> so just start. And the, yep, perfect. And a reminder: when you're going around your stencil areas, mm -hmm. wipe most of it off on the side. So okay, it's not just to make sure that we don't much. get it under yeah. the. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kind of up and down. Yep, perfect. And if you want more of a flat application, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. No, go ahead. Okay. Example. So what I do is wipe that off and then just more of like an up and down dab, but at an angle because it gives it more of a flat application. Okay, so got so it. Like so dab, dab, dab. straight. Yeah. Okay, got it. Like that. Yeah. Okay. You got it. And I got all this to do out here. Oh, like, just Sound like effects this. and all. <laughs> <laughs> got to have the ch. Yeah. Otherwise it just doesn't. And you're gonna have little leftover pieces, especially in the middle of your letters. So Got don't it. worry yet. We'll use we'll, your exacto knife to pick we'll up. We'll pick those up those. Out. Okay, cool. Some people get to that part and they're like, oh no, I knew it. I knew it. it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Boom. There we go. Just like that. All right, yeah. so I got the template to this far. Okay. Yep. So uh, now you'll pour your paints mm -hmm. for each year. So what you were gonna do, some greens, mm -hmm. you know. And then remember how to use a foam brush. Yep. So up and get down, down. That. I don't have to tell you. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I got this. No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit that orange real quick and get that knocked out. Hit it up. Okay, that turned out pretty good. Are you surprised? I am surprised because I didn't think I could do it that well. It was so good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That turned out so great. So how do people find you guys when they want to sign up for these classes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just hop on our website, boardandbrush.com slash Portland. On the very front page is our workshop calendar. You pick a date, pick your project, come in, and we have everything ready for you. Pretty that simple. Is awesome. Yeah. That is and awesome. Yeah, we'll have all the materials ready and ready to craft our behinds off. You got it. All <laughs> right, guys. So guess what? If I can do this... I know you can do it. Call and sign up. This is something you should be doing every holiday season.